Creativity changes the everyday. Creativity is beautiful. Creativity is active. Creativity is freedom. Alpha NEX5 debut. Sony. If there's one place in the world that has to be an ocean fisherman's dream, then it has to be Christmas Island, located in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Christmas Island is an idyllic island surrounded by narrow coral reef after which the ocean plummets to almost 500 metres and that's within 200 metres of the shore and it goes even deeper further out. Perfect deep sea and sports fishing conditions. Christmas Island has 80 kilometres of coastline with the highest point over 360 metres above sea level so there's always a well sheltered leeward side meaning during the island's active fishing season the chance of not going to sea due to bad weather is minimal. I met Mark Rochford, the owner and operator of Shorefire, a sports fishing charter business located on Christmas Island, and he has many years of fishing experience on the island. This is what he had to tell me about the stunning fishing off Christmas Island. Well, Mark Rochford, here we are. Was it Rochford or Rochefort? Rochefort. Rochefort, okay. Now, here we are in your, uh, in your shop, basically, here, which is on Christmas Island, okay? And the business is called Shorefire, is that right? That's correct. Excellent. Now, I believe you do two things. You're a commercial fisherman, plus also from time to time or when the season's right, you take charter uh, fishermen or people that visit the island specifically to charter or go, uh, go fishing. Tell me a bit about both businesses. Okay. The um, fishing charters are mostly uh, for dedicated anglers, mm. guys who come up and want to spend um, several days, perhaps a week, um, fishing for the, the big fish that we have here. Yeah, because these are serious waters, aren't they? Serious waters. Yeah. Um, it is it is an ocean. It's not a sea or yeah. a lake or something like that. So um, it's not recommended so much for people that um, that aren't used to the harsher conditions on the water. Yeah. Um, so these guys are fairly, uh, how would you say, um, Extreme. Yeah. It's um yeah, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, they're looking for a leading edge sort of fishing experience, yes, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. cutting edge. Cutting probably. edge, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um and that's what we do. We Excellent. um we try and put them on big fish. We concentrate in that with that style of fishing on catch and release. Wow, okay. Um, so what sort of fish? Uh giant trevally is oh. one of the iconic species. So how uh, big do they get? Oh, 50 kilo. Oh but, my goodness. You know, but you don't catch them that yeah, size yeah. every day, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um but twenty 20 to 30 kilo fish are wow. reasonably common. Um, we also catch um, sailfish, uh, tuna, yellowfin, dogtooth, and also um, wahoo are mm. other species we encounter. In Big, the they're all fighting fish. They certainly are, all very mm. fast. Absolutely, yeah. So tell me, you're also a commercial fisherman as well, aren't you? Yeah, I more or less fill in my time between charters and um, in the off season when um, well, there's always fish around, but the off-season is dictated more by the weather mm. and the chances of people being able to go to sea. Yeah. So when the weather still permits, I get out there and I, um, I target. I know it sounds a bit um, contradictory, saying that I'm a commercial fisherman who does catch and release on, mm. our, um, yeah. on our charters. But our charter species, um, certainly the, um, the local species like Giant Trevally, um, we don't mm. target them at all. The only fish I target in our commercial operation mm. are um, the fish that don't live here. Yeah. The, um, the fast growing pelagic fish like Wahoo and Chia, yeah. yep. and wholly and solely the, the only species that I target. And they're, they're caught just um, using a rod and line, no, yeah. um, no um, mass, uh, mass capture, yeah. you know, long lining methods or anything like that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and purely for consumption by the local market. Locally here on um, the island, yeah. For local people and also visitors who might want to frequent the restaurants and the like. Brilliant. Well, just looking around the wall here, I mean, you've got some pictures here on the wall of some huge fish that people have caught, which I presume this is on your, uh, on your charter work, okay? So um, how can people get more information about if they want to sort of come to Christmas Island and go on a Surefire charter? Okay, well we have a website, uh, shorefire.com.au mm -hmm. and um, you can visit that, there's a link there to an email where you can contact me, um, otherwise you can always give us a ring, um, 
again, you'll find all the contact details on the website. Brilliant. Well, Mark, thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate your time today. And I'm sure you'd, be out, you'd prefer to be out there fishing, but, um, you know, I suppose somebody's got to do the admin work, haven't they? Oh, already been out this morning. <laughs> I thought so. so. Cheers, mate. Thank yeah. you. For more information about Shorefire, visit www.shorefire.com.au and for more information about Christmas Island, visit www.christmas.net.au. John Alwyn Jones reporting on location for Global Travel Media TV from Christmas Island, brought to you by Christmas Island Tourism Association and Virgin Australia.